Huh. Cool, boom. Sorry, I had to eat my lunch. Lunch is important. One of the most important meals of the day besides breakfast and dinner. What's going on? You dirty old stash bags. I missed you very much and I also miss spring and spring is here. Spring is sprung. It is warm outside and there is no snow anywhere. No big plans for today besides maybe catching a fish. Today, I'm going to go drive around, check out uh, what all the what all the waterways and lakes and such look like. See if any fish are living in them. We still have some ice which is a problem um and then everything else is flooded so we have half frozen lakes we have flooded lakes we have flooded flooded rivers which isn't good water's high water's muddy water's cold still icy probably gonna go like shit so it's probably in your best interest to not even watch this video any farther unless you're just here for the dirty jokes and the cuss words because there'll be plenty of those but uh if you're holding breath to see if i uh catch a fish you'll probably die so make sure you breathe throughout this if you do continue watching it um because they're one fish might be a victory, but I got the uh, spinning rod, casting rod, all my open water lures that I have confidence in, especially this time of year, the ones that I throw when I just want to get a bite. We're going to go out, we're going to see if we can't find some fish, and uh, hopefully we do. Come on with me. Let's do this shit, buds. You ever pull up to a spot and just feel like this is going to be a goddamn waste of time? That's what I'm feeling right now. <clears throat> I'm at the first spot that I thought about trying, which none of these are probably going to be very good, like I said in the beginning but the water is high extremely extremely high extremely extremely muddy and extremely cold but still gonna give it a whirl kind of a spot hopping kind of day not staying anywhere too long gonna get in get out get on with our lives this place is a muddy shithole that water must have been up here maybe it's just from the snow i don't know but yeah we're gonna be in and out hopefully while we're in we catch something but definitely no guarantees because this looks like shit but yeah we're gonna try hmm i just realized that uh i left my reel backlash last time i used it that's nifty well i guess we gotta get this out hold please all right that actually didn't take too long line feels like dog shit though but what can you do oh god i'm sinking into the dirty mud eating me. This does not look very good at all. Not even catching debris or anything. Just surprising. Figured I'd be catching freaking full trees every two casts. But I was wrong. I'm just not catching shit. Oh god. It's a fish. Uh, 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 what the hell do I have? Oh. Pretty sure it was a carp, but it kind of looked like a buffalo. Large, whatever it was. While snagging carp isn't exactly gamey, I mean, I wouldn't mind hitting a couple more, but that's probably gonna be about the extent of what happens here. There's some predators in here, but there's a lot of, a lot of carp. I'm not sure if you can hear shit I'm saying because there's damn traffic everywhere, but I never really have that many good things to say anyway, so you aren't missing out on much. Oh my god. I don't know what the fuck that was. Almost felt like something bit it. That one hit it. That one had to have hit it. I don't know what I got, but it felt like it bit it. That thing knocks slack in it. Piss. Probably another carp. There has to be just a wad of them. That felt like it bit it too. Doubt it did, but it felt like it. Definitely some signs of life. I wonder if carp will eat corn in this muddy of water. Comment down below if you know. Will carp eat in chocolate milk water? I might have to come back with some corn. Also comment down below if you wanna see that. Even though everyone hates carp, I actually kinda like them. They sure do put up the fight. Signs of life, which is always good. Because if you're fishing where there's nothing living, then you're probably not catching. Oh no, I caught a minnow. Oh no, I caught a catfish. What the hell kind of catfish is that even? Well, it's a dead one now because I impaled him, but catfish already spawn in here? I think it's a little baby channel, but it does look strange. 
Sorry, bud. Seen little baby bullhead like that, but that is definitely not a bullhead. They just spawn. Where the hell did they come from? The water's like 30 degrees. Where the hell did tiny channels come from? Uh, got another something. Didn't feel like it really ate it. The channel? Oh, it's a weird little carp thing. <sighs> We're on the board. Kind of, by kind of, I mean for one, because we snagged it, but for two, because it's a dirty, I think it's a river carp sucker is what it's called. I know there's a quillback sucker that looks similar, but I think this part of it's a little bit, top fin I think is a little bit longer on a quillback, but cool anyway, I guess. <clears throat> he was small enough to uh, flip up on the bank so I didn't have to go down the mud, so that's a plus. We're on the board! <sighs> like I was saying in the beginning, I will literally take anything I can get today, but at the same time, I'm not just gonna sit here and snag carp for hours. Just out here enjoying the beautiful weather, snagging some carp heads out of a dirty, muddy creek. Life is good. I probably should have brought corn. That's probably what I should have done. Save that for another day. We ain't that desperate yet. That actually ate it, I think. It felt like it ate it. On the fall, pulled it tight on its own. Thought I had a drum or something, but no, it's just another river carp suck guy that I don't want to get hooked by. Okay, he didn't eat it, but he definitely looked at it pretty extensively. River carp guy number two. Papa, papa. Poopy river water. Crazy little bugger. What are you doing trying to eat Shadley's? Well, as much fun as uh, snagging little carply guys goes, there is. Getting the hell out of here. I didn't expect much more than that, really. Places riddled with carp. It also has some pretty incredible game fish. But if the damn game fish can't see two inches in front of their face or even half an inch in front of their face, then they're probably not going to eat. Getting the hell out of here. Got one more creek river spillway thing I'm going to try. Hopefully, I have one of them. I can hook something in the mouth. Yeah, hop my truck. I'll drive about 20 minutes. Hopefully this place is a little less flooded. I gotta open this. Okay, see you soon. Spot number two is looking like a real shit show. That's what all the lakes look like right now in Nebraska. A bunch of ice out in the center. Makes it hard to open water fish, but uh, definitely not safe enough to ice fish. Which I'm okay with. Kind of over that shit. I'm not fishing there. I'm fishing there. Let's see if I can't get a dirty old long dong out of a dirty sewer puddle or not. We'll see what happens. Nobody down here, but it's definitely flowing. Not looking good, but still gonna try it. Even though, once again, you're not gonna be able to hear a goddamn thing I'm saying. Hey, the water's actually kind of clear. Let's see how many times we can get snagged. Oh, these were the good old days. Fishing little shitholes with my dad. If you're watching this, I love you, Dad. He doesn't watch my videos. He's not proud of me. Uh, I think that was a fish. Yep. Oh. Now we're on top of the tube, so you really can't hear me. But I don't think it matters. Let's walk down the creek a little bit. There's clearly nothing living in there. If there is, it's probably not gonna bite. It'd be cool to catch something in there. I have before. I guess today just ain't the day. I'm gonna have to take my jacket off. It's actually hot in balls for once. I don't know why I'm walking down this creek, because uh, I've done it before. It's never produced, but I've also never seen it this high. You never know until you try. I don't think anything's happening back here, boys and girls. I'm gonna try to get the hell out of here. No signs of life. Well, a couple hours later, went home, reassessed my life and what was going on, but I'm back at the first spot where there's a lot of carbs, and I, I'm not gonna snag some more. I'm gonna try to actually catch one in the goddamn mouth. 
sorry, it's so loud. How we consider it people. But yeah, I'm gonna try to catch one in the mouth. My goal for today is to catch one fish in the goddamn mouth, and I'm not going home until it happens. Sorry, boo, but I'm gonna grab everything. I got my trusty pole holders, got my corn. I'm gonna head down that way. So if we can't catch ourselves a dirty carp in the dirty old mouth, let's do it. All right, well, I am gonna bring my crankbait rod just in case I get bored. The main goal is definitely trying to set up on some carp. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to see or sense the corn with the current the way it is and how dirty the uh, water is, but you don't know until you try. I'm not a goddamn quitter. And I got two hours before dark, so I'm gonna soak some dirty ass corn and some dirty ass water, see if I can't get a dirty ass carp head. And if not, oh well, screw it. What can you do? Besides not fish for carp. I'm gonna start with Boo's rod, because it's already rigged up. Last time she used this thing was whooping my ass at some carp fishing so more prepared than i am and she's not even here but i've got some split shots little ass octopus hook and the main ingredient is some dirty old corn let's see if we can drain this sucker yeah i'm gonna have to open it a little bit more than that there we go i might eat some of this shit to be honest with you it smells delicious i'm not even kidding i'm gonna eat some of this shit with my fingers might be rocket science to some of you so I'm going to explain it, make it sound like I'm smart or something, but tiny hook, split shots, a little corn on the cob, see if I can get a carp to slob on my knob. Hopefully Boo doesn't watch this one, I don't think she does anymore, she already has to put up with my shit enough that she doesn't need to watch my videos. Alright, well, let's see if that actually stays in place. From my uh, adventures earlier, I already have a general idea of where they're sitting, so got that part figured out. Well, now I gotta rig up my other one, find a stick to sit on, and then we're officially carping. Oh my god, is it getting hit already? That home bitch was getting hit already, I'm gonna shit my britches. It's hard to tell with the wind and current. I don't know. Let's try this corn. Oh yeah. This carp would be dumb not to eat this. Mm. I might even just reel the rods in, just sit here and eat corn, listen to traffic, enjoy the weather. Sitting under a bridge, waiting for a dirty carp head to swim by. Now we wait. That looks like a bump. Just give him something to come over to. Well, yeah. that's about all I can do. Now I gotta wait. Carp are honestly one of the bigger dickheads in the fishing world. They're pretty hard to catch unless you snag them. <sighs> Shit. Well, you dirty stash bags. I failed you. And I failed myself. And I'm maybe getting a bite. Thing hasn't moved for years. Got a lot of those bites though. I had one actually good bite. I screwed it up. So I was on the damn phone. Always happens like that. Most of the time it helps you out because you actually catch the fish. Getting on the phone's a good thing. Well, in this instance, it didn't help at all because I didn't catch the fish. It's definitely a carp, I think. I have no clue, but it was definitely larger. Maybe it was ready to pull the pole out of the pole holder. I don't know. It was pulling it tight real quick, and I fumbled around not in disbelief and screwed it up. But I don't know. If you want to see more stupid carp fishing videos, comment down below. If you don't want to see more carp fishing videos i guess comment down below too but at this point i really have no other choice besides driving south or trying to catch carp i guess eventually here in the next week maybe the ponds will be okay sorry i know i'm supposed to look at the camera when i'm talking to you but i'm also looking at my rods because i want to make sure i not getting a bite anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Join the stash bag gang. Hopefully I can actually catch fish and not let you down every time, but I'm gonna try my best. You can count on that. All right, I'm going home. Screw this place, bye.